Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I got a couple of things I'm doing today for future meals. One is tomorrow's meal, which is going to be Chilean sea bass. So here's the sea bass that I bought. I bought this from Costco. It's about one and three quarter pounds. I sliced it in half. Um, that's probably gonna be Donnie's portion because he always likes the bigger piece of meat or fish, and that'll be mine, which is more than enough. Um, so this recipe is a miso, um, a miso marinated it's Chilean sea bass, and I'm gonna serve it over, um, or what will be over, will be a shiitake mushroom soy glaze. So I have measured out with my new kitchen tool, which is my new scale. I love this thing, I got it on Amazon. It was only 22 bucks. It, can, uh, it measures in grams, ounces, um, and another unit. Bears, I can't think of it right now. But what's really interesting is you can put something on here and it says, I can't see, one, one pound, 1.12. 1 1 so I can actually zero this out so that, um, unfortunately, it's got liquid in it. But I could put something on here and zero it out and then I can put the glass or whatever I'm gonna hold it in and zero it out. Therefore, what's going to weigh is actually the liquid or substance that's actually in the container that I'm using. This is really cool. So it has the units in oh, milliliters, grams, and kilograms. So it's kind of cool, love this thing. Okay, so I have pre-measured six ounces of white organic miso, uh, miso paste. I've got three ounces of sake, and I've got four ounces of midden. So this is going to be the marinade with a little bit of fresh chopped up rosemary. So to the miso, I'm gonna add into the ramen, the ramen, the sake. The reason why I say ramen, now I'm gonna mix this all up and it's gonna take a little bit of time. The reason why I said ramen is because that's actually the second meal that I'm going to be making I'm gonna pre be preparing the tade. Uh, I'm gonna be making a tonkotsu ramen broth, and um, it's gonna have a tade sauce, which is really gonna provide the seasoning and the umami flavor to it. So I'll be doing that a little bit later. That's why I said ramen. I'm gonna put the rest of the sake in. I probably should have used something a little better to mix this up. Now I'm gonna put the meat in. At this point, I can put the whole thing. The midi is going to add the sweetness to it. And this is going to marinate in the fridge for 24 hours. So I wanted to serve this tonight, and I forgot about it last night to do the marinade. And I made this a couple of weeks ago, not the same marinade, but it, I only put it in for six hours. And even though it, it was good, um, I really felt I should have left it in there for 24 hours. And since um, the Chilean sea bass is not cheap by any means, I believe this was about 26 bucks at Costco. Um, but it is sea bass. A lot cheaper at Costco. Um, and that's just a beautiful piece of fish there. Good quality too. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that looks... Is good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my rosemary. Toss it in. Still has a little bit of clumps in here. I know what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a little shrimp for it, believe it or not. Okay, so got my Ziploc bag. I think it was already unzipped. Okay, I'm gonna put my miso glaze in. Then I'm gonna put my fish in. I'm actually gonna put it skin side up. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to wash my hands for one moment. Okay. So throughout the day and tomorrow, I will move this around and maybe turn it around upside down and make sure that everything gets on here and marinades nicely. Okay, still not got some air to get out. Okay, so there is the Chilean sea bass marinade. So when we come back to this tomorrow, I'll be preparing, I'll actually get this ready to go into the oven. And of course, then we'll go over the uh, shiitake mushroom and soy glaze that we'll have with this. And um, I might serve it with an orzo pasta rice, maybe with a little shrimp in there. Donnie, what do you think? Sounds good. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So we'll come back later and the next part was gonna be the tare of my tonkotsu broth, uh, which can take, I can leave it in the refrigerator up to two months. So I wanna make the tare um, and leave it in the fridge because anytime I want ramen, I won't have to remake it. So we'll catch you back in, uh, in a little bit when I do something moving around in the sink for part one of the tonkotsu tare. So we'll see you back in a bit. Okay, so we're back to the Chilean sea bass um, dinner. So here it is. It's nice and thick. It's about two inches thick. So I am putting this in my convection oven, 375 for about 30 minutes. When it gets, the glaze is nice and brown. Hopefully it's gonna be done. Um, I'll check it with um, like a skewer or a toothpick to make sure that it is done. So this goes into the oven. and 29 minutes. We'll see what it looks like. Meanwhile, I have my orzo pasta going. Mushroom, shallot, uh, shiitake mushroom and shallot. And that's gonna be cooking for about at least uh, 20 minutes. And then I will put in my shrimp and my peas in there. And then I'm gonna work on my shiitake mushroom and soy, honey, glaze. So when we come back, we'll be putting it all together at one time. See you back. Okay, we're getting down in the last couple of minutes. So my orzo pasta with um, shrimp and peas and shiitake mushrooms looking good. My fish, I got 17 minutes looking good. Now I'm going to do the shiitake soy glazed um, glaze. Okay, so got my shiitake mushrooms. Let these cook down a bit. So the ingredients in here are going to be soy, soy sauce, some um, dashi stock, sesame oil, and a little bit of honey. Okay, so I'm going to add the soy in. Okay, I'm going to turn on the fan. The temperature down a bit. Okay, I'm going to put in the dashi dashi powder, just a hint of it. So this is going to go over the sea bass and the sea bass will be over a bed of the orzo pasta. And then I actually um, have some green onions that'll go on top the mushrooms and the sea bass.
Okay. So I'm going to just put about... that much. Mmm. I got this honey from a good old friend of mine, Lenora and Dave's Backyard Honey in Oregon. Uh, Washington, rather. Um, so thank you, Lenny, for that. Would love to see you soon. I've known Lenny since the fourth grade. I had a big old crush on her back in the day. All right. So Lenny, hope you're doing well. A little bit of sesame oil, just a smidgen. And that's all. That's all that's going to be, uh, uh-oh, in here. Oh, this smells good. Sure does. Okay, so that's just gonna, I'm gonna really turn that down to a low simmer and let it sit here and hang out until my sea bass is ready, which is about 14 minutes. So when we come back, we'll be plating it and um, everything's a go. See you back in a bit. Okay, here's the finished product. I plated it. As you can see, plate with the orzo, the sea bass, topped with the mushroom glaze and the green onion on top. There's Donnie's. So I'm going in for a taste. I'll be back. Okay, let's see. Very flaky. Mmm. The sea bass is cooked. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. It's cooked really. It's cooked perfectly. The um, the miso marinade is not overpowering by any means. Mmm. But just that nice hint, um, which doesn't take away from the flavor of the fish. The orzo pasta. Is, is always good. I've done this one so many times. Looks great. Mmm. Can't wait to dig in. Oh. The mushroom glaze, the mushroom soy, the soy a shiitake mushroom glaze has a sweetness to it. Mmm. Okay, I don't want to keep you anymore, Donnie. This mm -hmm. is really a good recipe. I made a Chilean sea bass a couple of weeks ago. I wasn't happy with it. I didn't marinate it long enough. I decided to do something a little different. Um, the marinade is much better than the first, and um, this came out really well. I'm really pleased. Mm. Let me know what you all think if you make it. This was wonderful. Johnny, I know you want to eat. Mm -hmm. Toodaloo!